Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video, SwitchCube Advanced Gaming here, and today we are reviewing and playing for you in handheld mode, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. So, let's get right into it. Roll the intro! Now, you guys saw the thumbnail, you saw the title, you are here for our review of Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. And this is a, a special review for us, and one that I've been looking forward to for quite some time, as I do really love this game. So, let's just get right into it. As you can see, you do have many, many different modes. It's Legend Mode, Free Mode, Adventure Mode, and we are going to be playing some Legend Mode for you today. But you can go through the gallery, change settings, whatever you really want to do. It is completely up to you when you play this game. So, we're just going to kind of jump right into Legend Mode here start up here. We're going to pick the second scenario. And let's see, let's play as Link here. We'll do that. Knight Sword. And we're just going to jump right in. Now, this game is a uh, obviously a port of the Wii U game, Hyrule Warriors, and the 3DS game, Hyrule Warriors Legends. And it brings all of the content from both games into one game plus a little bit of extra. Now, Legend Mode is the default, like, the base adventure story mode that you can play when playing this game. Um, it does have a pretty good storyline. Um, could be a little better, but, I mean, they're working with a Warriors game gameplay, so it's like you don't want to waste a great story on a non-core line game, but it is good enough that it will keep you entertained. So, we're going right in here. We're running around just fighting enemies. You will get these little cutscenes throughout the game that show you kind of like what, or tell you what you have to do, whether you have to go this place, protect this place, conquer this place, fight this enemy, whatever it may be, and there's a pretty good variety of one characters, there's a great variety of characters, and a pretty good variety of movesets within each character, like, as you can see here, you can do a slash, and then jump up and slam down to get more powerful combo hits on enemies, and when you take an outpost, which is that little crystal you just saw on the screen there, you gain control of it, and your troops will start spawning there, so you'll get more domination on the battlefield. This is a good way to make your life a lot easier. Now, you can always just hold the strong attack button, which is what I'm doing here to get that nice power slash in, to increase the range and power of it, mainly with just Link. Each character will have a different moveset that they can use. So you can go around to each of these outposts, and you can just fight and take it so your troops will spawn there. It's a great way to dominate the battlefield, as I said, and just really make your life a little bit easier when you're playing some of these missions, because in the latter parts of the game, they can get quite troublesome and quite difficult, actually. Um, being someone who played both versions of the game previously and picked it up for you guys this time as well, I can definitely say this was uh, an exciting one for me, being that I could compare it truly to each version. So the graphics comparison... Um, the Wii U version ran anywhere from 720 to 900p, and the 3DS version ran at whatever crappy screen that that 3DS has. N nothing, nothing impressive on the 3DS spec side. This version runs at crisp 60 frames a second, 1080p, and man, does it look beautiful. Seeing everything, I know the gameplay here, since this isn't handheld off a of camera, it's not quite to its best quality, but the gameplay in both handheld and TV mode is absolutely stunning. Seeing everything in just crisp HD, even on the 720 handheld screen, it looks fantastic. And I did play a little bit of co-op, and I did not see any kind of drop in quality or performance, as I did when I played uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. I saw a split screen brought a lot of drops and, um, and just a lot of lagging in the performance of the game, which kind of was sad, because that game was a, a big excitement for me. So... As you can see, we're just kind of running around here, slashing up the enemies, and you use your various items to do various things, like here you can blow up a wall, which will open up your path to the level. So it's it's always just fun, you know, you can watch the gameplay for yourself here and see how it's run, how you might like it if you are interested in this game. Maybe you say, well, it's a Wii U game, is it really worth getting? Maybe you've already played the original, and you're just here for the gameplay. It is... A great port. I think it runs better than either version previously released, and I'm extremely happy with its performance on the system. Now, this game is at least digitally selling quite well. It is on the Switch bestsellers list for North America, and 
that's not surprising to me. I mean, it was a fun game to begin with, so just up its content and performance level, and that's completely understandable. But, you know, you are free to do as you want. There is obviously many gameplay modes. This is just the default story mode, but you could go on to adventure mode or free play mode or whatever you want. And what's nice about this game is you don't need to beat a level before you can play it two-player. You can play it for the first time on two-player. It is really kind of your choice, which, I mean, that's kind of what Nintendo's all about, is making the gameplay your choice. So being able to play this either alone or with a friend, it is fun either way. The music is just phenomenal. I mean, it's Zelda music kind of with a rock twist to it, which is really kind of cool. So it's like guitars, like heavy guitars, like going at it. It's, it's, it's really cool. And you got all the characters and the art and just everything looks and sounds fantastic. Now, the actual gameplay. Some people think the gameplay is a little too simplistic, as it is pretty much a two-button uh, fighting set, like you press one button a certain amount of times with the other button press a certain amount of times, and yes, that is kind of true. I mean, within 30 seconds, you can pretty much learn each of your combos. And, I mean, for certain characters, there are more complex things to do, but for the first probably few hours of gameplay, you're with pretty simple sets. Like Link, you press weak attack once and then strong attack twice, you slash, jump, and slam. That's that, You learn that within five seconds of hitting a couple buttons. And with that nature being present, it is an easy button masher. You could mash your way through this entire story probably, except for like the very, very later um, levels. But it's not off-putting as some people say it is, or should be. Now, most of the time, if a game's too simplistic, it's too easy, and that was kind of my issue with Kirby Star Allies, is it felt too simple and easy. But this game brings just enough ease, but looks like you're doing a lot. I mean, like, if you see that, like, I just wipe out a whole horde with a single slash, which is really satisfying if you've got this giant group of skeletons coming at you and you just wipe them out with a single hit. It, it's, yes, it's easy, but it's very, very satisfying to do. So that is pretty much all you need to see for Adventure Mode. So that was Legend Mode. I mean, you can take your judgments there. We're going to kind of look at the other modes here. We've got Adventure Mode. Um, we've got some mid-battle save data. We'll get rid of that. And there is a great selection of maps from Wind Waker, uh, Twilight Princess, Majora's Mask, uh, Low Rule from A Link Between Worlds, and uh, Spirit Tracks and a lot of those games. Um, really from most of the games, except for, I think, Breath of the Wild didn't get a specific map. Um, but yeah, it, it shows the setup of like an old-style Zelda map, and you go through and you do these different battles. We won't do one because that's just kind of the same set of gameplay, but you can get a, uh, a lot of exclusive items, characters, uh, whatever you want, really, from this, and you just kind of piece by piece unlock the map, and you go from there. So... The game does have a wide variety of gameplay options, whether you're playing Legend Mode with or without a friend, or Adventure Mode, Free Play Mode, whatever you want to do. There is even the My Fairy Mode, which I'm not a personal fan of, but I know some people do really love that, and they pour weird amounts of time into that. But that is really what you get. You can do a lot of customizations with shops and skill trees and different weapons you acquire and unlock weapons and unlock characters and levels and different storylines. It is quite a massive game, and one that should not be taken lightly. Um, the gallery, you can view a lot of different characters. I mean, with my progress, you can only really see just Link with the Knight Sword, but you can kind of see how much work and time went into the modeling and the running of this game, and it really does come out to quite a good package. So, in my mind, I'd give this, for its $60 price tag, I'd probably give it an 8 or a 9 out of 10. It's not perfect, but it really does bring a cool... Zelda experience to the Switch, and one, you know, that's not quite like Breath of the Wild, not quite like the traditional Ocarina games or Majora's Mask game, but one that is really, really quite fun to play, and I think anyone who is interested in Zelda definitely would want to get this game. It's it's a Warriors game, it's Zelda, it's amazing music, amazing art, amazing level design, and it is quite worth the buy. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it, and comment down below, are you planning on getting this game? Did my review maybe help you in the decision of getting this game, and 
What do you guys think? Does Hyrule Warriors even look like a worthwhile game? And I don't know. Comment some other things. What are you guys excited for? e 3s coming up. We will be making a video on that. So, what do you guys think? Do you think this is worthwhile? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, subscribe no matter what. That's going to be all for this one, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>